Stevie T here doing another Island update and uh, this time I want to talk about water briefly as you can see no shortage of the stuff out here uh, if you like salt water that is uh, this is the view from my villa which sounds very posh doesn't it but it's, it's not very posh but uh, as you can see lots of salt water around here because that's the Atlantic Ocean that you're looking at there but uh, if you want fresh water then that's a different matter and I'm just going to talk about how I go about heating my water because it's actually very cheap to do that out here so basically I bought myself about 75 meters worth of hose sounds good doesn't it and uh, it just comes out of the tap here and runs up onto the roof of the villa I then coil it round a few times uh, first it comes down into the drive here the front drive uh, where I coil it round this little bracket here and as you can see that's soaking up lots of sunlight at the moment and all the water inside that hose is getting nice and hot uh, very hot indeed it then goes back up onto the roof and we're now in my backyard the hose is coiled up on the roof a few times and and then it comes down here to the ground and uh, there we have a little adapter on the end there just a little spray gun and this is basically my shower I have a nice secluded corner of the backyard so thankfully the neighbors don't have to see me showering in the buff and uh, neither do you dear viewers <laughs> I'm not going to show you that don't worry that would be a bit weird wouldn't it but uh, the water comes out there very very hot indeed sometimes too hot uh, it actually burns you so you have to be a bit careful but uh, with about 75 meters worth of hose you get enough water for you know, a good eight minute shower I would say um, so it's uh, a very good way of getting hot water effectively for nothing what's also good practice out here is to store fresh water in uh, used bottles which I've got here so these are the bottles that you buy the drinking water in because you can't really drink water out of the tap because uh, it's a little bit salty uh, some people drink it okay but um, I prefer not to so the empty bottles I use to store fresh water in and as you can see I've got these two uh, sitting out in the sun collecting lots of heat again so the, the water inside those bottles is nice and hot. I should also add that uh, the water is fed to the neighborhood here um, through uh, overground pipes. You can actually go and walk and see the pipes laying on the ground. I don't know why they don't bury them like they do in the UK but um, the, it just means that the water is soaking up sunlight on its way up to the neighborhood here and it's already quite warm when it comes out the tap. So there you go, not the most exciting island update, I'm sure you'll agree, but uh, hopefully you found it a little bit informative. Uh, also, I will say that you can get uh, solar-powered water heaters here, and what they are is they're, they're dirty great big water tanks that you put uh, on the roof of your house, and they're attached to a, a metal panel, as far as I can tell, and there's, there's a little pump in the tank that pumps the water across that metal panel, uh, and uh, over the period of the day, you get lots and lots of hot water. But um, my system, <laughs> very Heath Robertson though it is, is absolutely free apart from the water and uh, about the, the 20 euros I spent on hose pipe. So uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed that little island update. Uh, more are coming soon.